I'm Mikey Hayden, and welcome to In Your Face. Um, I'm here with Mo Holtzman and Lauren Hertz, and we're going to be talking about rug burn ball. Um, first topic that we have, Jake Klein has gotten ejected at least four times in the past two years. Um, Steve Goldstein had him, had him refing uh, yes, uh, a couple days ago, and he was refing a lot of the games. Um, Mo, what are your thoughts on Jake Klein refing those games? Was he a good ref? Was he a bad ref? Klein's an interesting kid for me because I, I find it funny how they decide, hey, who's the kid with, you know, the most behavioral problems, at least in rugby and ball, to let's let's have him ref and I'd be in control of other things. And I mean I he wasn't terrible. He I in my opinion, I'm biased because he kind of screwed over my team a little bit with one of his calls. So I would not say he's a good ref. But uh, what do you think, Lauren? I disagree with you. I'd say that Klein was a fantastic ref. He made much better calls than our friend Jake Austin, who tends to make horrible cheating calls. And he tends to just, I don't know, go in the other team's favor because for some reason he didn't really like Brian's team very much. I'd absolutely disagree with that. Austin is one of my best friends, and I think he is a wonderful is ref. Wonderful. Makes every they, right call. Yeah, but Klein actually blew the whistle. Klein is 12. There. Let's think about this. Klein blew the whistle sometimes when Austin did it, hence why. And let's Austin also distracted me talking about Canada. Not very good when it comes to playing on a 6-0 and team at the time. So, Klein... Who lost the finals? Mm, yes, but Klein also blew the whistle, which made me notice when I was actually supposed to throw the ball, unlike Jake Austin, who made me give up some very interesting goals when I shouldn't have had. Speaking of interesting goals. But didn't you goals, not make it to the finals? finals? Don't worry. Yeah, Mo. You're coming at my team? All right. Uh, we started 0-3. We came back. We were very close to winning a playoff team, a playoff game with a team that was very good. Julie, almost Julie's beat your team, yeah. You also Julie's traded team me. was very good. We traded you for a solid reason at the time. We yeah, thought so James would be James a good James flex. great for you. That, that, it, the that trade was... did not pan out well. You could take that up with Austin. Um, but I feel like our team did a really good job bouncing back from our uh, slow start. I think if some calls flipped the other way, we could have definitely been making a far, far playoff run. All right. Can we talk about the rookie year, Michael? Of course no. we can. Um, what we're going to talk about next is if Ryan Valen's team, if that was the, one of the best teams of all time. Uh, Mo, what do you think? I'm going to give it a big no. They, they lost. If you can't be one of the best teams of all time if you lose. Okay, what are, one of the best built teams. One of the best built teams? I'd say if you're such a well-built team. Do you see the attackers? Do you see the defensemen? If you're such a well-built team, you're going to win, right? Yes, but yes. see, when you go 6-0, and and then going wins. into a championship game, which is also not on our side because you had the freaking the lights were off. Dude, the lights are off for both teams. It's not an excuse. Yes, but we were doomed to go down 6-0. and I know, it's kind of unfortunate to think about, but we were 6-0, and and we were supposed to go down. I know. We it's an unfortunate thing. It was an unfortunate one. loss. It's, I think you guys. I partially blame Jake Austin. I blame Jake Austin not at all. I blame you guys for not playing multiple players. I blame you guys for playing your starters. I mean, I, pers I, blame, I, mean, I blame I myself for going up for an alley -oop. I blame Mike I mean, I personally believe concerns. that David should not have been in goal. <laughs> <laughs> That's just my belief. <laughs> but David just shouldn't have been in goal. He I scored was doing the best perfectly, goal of the whole season. I was doing perfectly fine. The goalie pulled a Mori. It doesn't... <sighs> I was doing perfectly fine. I took myself out because of anger issues, so... And that's all the time we have for today on In Your Face, talking about rug brin ball. I'm Mikey Hayden, along with my co-host, Mo Holtzman and Lauren Hurts. Good night.